Do you have a Joomla website that you're using the Protostar template on? And whenever you make changes to the CSS, they get overwritten when you update the template? Well, I'm going to show you how to get away with not having that overwritten and having custom styles on your Protostar template. This is OS Tips from OS Training, and I'm Robbie Adair. Okay, so let's take a look at changing something on our website. We're actually going to make uh, one of our menu items have a custom style on it. So first thing we're going to do is go look under templates. Now, if I look under styles and templates, Protostar does have a few items that you can change. These, if you change them, will not be overwritten whenever Protostar updates, but those are pretty few. If we want to see all of the CSS for this template, we will go over to templates and then we will open up the Protostar details and files. You'll see a CSS folder and there are two CSS files that come with Protostar, template and offline. If we look at template, that's where you're going to find most of your CSS styles. Could you change one of these? Yes, and if you change it, it will change the template. But when you update Protostar, this will most likely be overwritten and your changes will be lost. So what we have to do is add another CSS file in here that will not be overwritten. What we're going to do is add a new file. Up at the top, you should see new file button. You want to put this in the same folder, CSS, so highlight the CSS folder. And the file must be named user and it has to be a file type CSS. The name of the file is very important, so make sure you use user.css is what we're going to create. Now we have another CSS file in here. This CSS file will not be overwritten, so put all of your custom CSS changes in here. If I wanted to change something that already existed, I could literally just go in here and copy this out, go to my user CSS, and put it in here and make the changes. That would override it. We're going to actually make a new style to go in our user CSS. We're going to make a menu highlight, dot menu HL, and we're going to do a custom background color for one of our menu items. And let's just put yellow. We would actually want to put a our hex color, but for this little example, we're just going to put the word yellow. So menu HL is my selector that I've created here. I'm going to save and close this file. And now I'm going to go to one of my menu items. So let's look at the front end of our site. We have something called member map, and let's say we want to draw attention to it. We want to highlight it in yellow. So I can now go to my menu, the top menu, and then I'm going to go to member map. I'm going to go to my link type and I'm going to put in that selector in the link class. We'll save this. And now whenever we refresh our page, you'll see that we've put a highlight on that menu item that's always there. This is custom. And if we update Protostar, it will not be blown away. So now you can go through and put all of the custom items that you want to have in your CSS inside of user.css inside of the Protostar, Protostar folder CSS, user.css. And that's it. Now your changes will not be blown away when Protostar updates. I hope this has been helpful and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel because we put out OS tips every week. This is Robbie Adair with OS tips from OS Training. <laughs>